am I excited for my first class at Xavier? I've never been to an all-girls school before. I, I just transferred here. I mean, I don't know anybody. I can't wait to, you know, start <laughs> learning things about stat and meeting girls and meet girls. <laughs> girls. <laughs> this is my class.
the fall of 2015, we have lost 295 dear friends of this community. We lose them to a growing epidemic that sweeps through the halls of broken institutions, specifically senior classrooms. Here, we have listed the largest and biggest symptom of this disease. It deteriorates effort and sleep somehow at the same time. What is this plague that takes our friends and turns them into lazy sloths? This disease is senioritis. It's out there, lurking in the halls, hidden in the classrooms. A disease so vile that it strikes fear in the hearts of teachers and students. It strikes fear in the hearts of teachers. Let's dispel some of your common misconceptions about senioritis and answer some of your frequently asked questions. Am I immune to senioritis because I am not a senior? This is a dangerous belief. No, you are not immune to senioritis. In fact, no one can escape senioritis. While it will not reach its full effects until one has committed to a college, any student can feel the effects of senioritis, especially you, juniors. While seniors constitute the highest percentage of afflicted members, juniors are the next up-and-coming at-risk group. Does flossing help? No, that's gingivitis. Do not confuse senioritis for the dread of SRP or the deadly effects of turning in a minimalist essay. Who are you? What are some signs that senioritis is striking? If you're having trouble remembering the last time you did your homework, senioritis may be rearing its ugly head. Furthermore, if you're having trouble breathing while you log into that classroom, you may be experiencing senioritis. Other symptoms of senioritis include preparing a project at lunch, completing an assignment the period that it's due, having more Sparknotes bookmarked in your browser than actual bookmarks in your book, showing up late to class, or not showing up at all. Here are some testimonies from individuals who experience senioritis firsthand. My GPA has gone down by 0.5 points in the past two weeks. All my B's are in all D's. My tablet doesn't work anymore. It takes three class periods to start up. My version of tablet mode is to push the screen all the way down to the desk. Senioritis has destroyed me, but I love it, and that's the tragedy. I haven't done journals for RobCon in weeks. I have a comp book check tomorrow, and I don't have anything done. Like, anything. I haven't turned in any of my readmits, so I'm probably going to get another detention. I've had to stay at 8th hour every day this week. And I should probably go since I have more homework to go not do. I was going to prepare something to say in this testimony, but then senioritis struck. I actually just got here. While there are some treatments, senioritis is usually fatal and can only be cured by graduation. These treatments, according to Brophy teachers, include more homework, complaining, screaming, whining, and shame. Senioritis is unavoidable. Warn your friend, hug your loved one, because one day all you will be able to do is log into Blackboard, see what's due, and cry yourself to sleep. Thank you for watching this PSA. This PSA is prepared by Brophy and Xavier students instead of doing English homework. Good evening, my name is John DeMasso and this is Poetry Out Loud. We have some great recitations for you tonight, so without further ado, I'd like to welcome our first reader, Kate Winchester. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain, and we jumped, never asking why. We kissed, and I fell under your spell. It was a love no one could deny. Don't you ever say that I just walked away? I will always want you. I can't live a lie. I'm running for my life. I will always want you. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break your walls. All you ever did was wreck me. Yeah, you, you wrecked me. That was Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. That was uh, interesting. Thank you. Uh, our next reader who will be reading a real poem is <laughs> Emily Pond. Tonight, we're going hard, hard, hard. Just like the world is ours, ours. It belongs to us. We're tearing it apart, apart, apart. You know that we're superstars, because we are who we are. 
We were dancing like we're dumb, dumb, dumb. No, no, no. We'll be forever young. You know that we're superstars because we are who we are. DJ, turn it up. It's about time to live it up. I'm so sick of being so serious. It's making my brain delirious. I'm just talking true, telling you about the stuff that we do. We're selling our clothes, sleeping in cars, dressing it down, and hitting on dudes. Hi. <laughs> that was We Are Who We Are by Key Dollar Sign High. <laughs> Our last reader, who let me just say I have very high hopes for, <laughs> is Ryan Holmes. Dog goes woof. We're supposed to read at the house school. Dog goes moo and dog goes croak. The elephant says cute. <laughs> to the safe black and he so blood and the seal goes ow, ow. <laughs> but there's one sound that no one knows. <laughs> what does the fox say? <laughs> Kring jing. Go home, go home. <laughs>